JetBlue is redesigning the cabin of its Airbus fleet. There will be new upgrades to hopefully make your trip more entertaining. Travel Alliance President Mark Murphy is here with us now with more on this. So we've been hearing about mm-hmm. JetBlue's plan changes for a while. Tell us about what they've decided on. Well, they're going to give you high-definition seat monitors to start with, you know, plug-ins at your seat, which are great because everyone's looking for that plug, and that should be a common USB thing. USB plugs, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. so you can keep your, uh, your iPad and your iPhone charged in flight, Wi-Fi from the gate all the way to where you land and connect to the other gate. So that, those are great improvements. And, you know, in the airline business, they're making billions and billions of dollars in profits. So what we want them to do is up the game because they're charging a lot of money for all these additional fees, and so they're raising the game. That's going to force the competitive set to start raising the game because what you're fu- starting to see is, like, I do a lot of Philly, Fort Lauderdale. JetBlue started flying. What happened to fares? They dropped. Mm-hmm. So now there's more competition. There's more choices. So the guy who's loyal to American out of U.S. Air, I mean, uh, formerly U.S. Air out of Philadelphia, may shift over and start flying JetBlue now because of some of these upgrades. And that's what JetBlue's counting on. But how much money, how much more money will they be expecting to charge us and when are they expecting to implement these changes? Well, here's, flat, here's the great news. Fares are down going into 2016, so they're trending down. They were trending down a little bit in 2015. That's going to continue. And so the reason they're making so much profit is because when you have oil at $30 a barrel, that's their number one cost. That's that's helping dramatically. So they can make these investments. They can get these improvements. And keep in mind, even though you're getting a little more competition, over 80% of domestic air travel is controlled by four major carriers. Right. So they still have an oligopoly. And in many cases, they can set a price, and everyone that competes with them is going to match that price, and you can't really do anything about it as a traveler. But because of demand, they started adding more seats. Because that supply has gone up to fill those seats, they have to be a little more aggressive. What they've done in the past is they've gotten very aggressive in adding seats. They then can't fill them. They have to discount. They start losing money, and we know how that turns out. Mm-hmm. So... We're, we're in a good spot right now with the airline industry. Speaking of adding seats, mm-hmm. there are going to be more seats on these Airbuses that they're refurbishing. You know, leg room is always my biggest mm-hmm. problem. Yeah. You For know, you, and you're like, you're, 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 and five, you're, you're five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're going to lose two inches of leg room, right, with For, these new changes? So, so, yeah, so they're trying to get more seats on the plane, and they're trying to accommodate you with entertainment. So you're watching the TV as opposed to... Worrying about, you know, like, how squeezed you are in the right. seat. Right. <laughs> now, I will say that right now, as of today, JetBlue has good leg room in coach compared to some of the other carriers. So That's true. That's, they really do. And, right. and, and I would actually agree, Mark, that if you're watching... Because they have all the channels from the Dish Network that are available to Correct. you. You, you you're, you're channel surfing and you're not as worried about, like, oh, man, like I'm cramped into the seat. Exactly. So, the, you know, it's a little give and take. The other thing that the airlines are doing, different airlines, they're going with the slimmer line seats so they can actually put more in because they're not those big puffy seats. And people are complaining that they're not going to be as comfortable, et cetera. So, again, they're finding ways to become more efficient flying, weight off the plane so they can reduce the weight of each seat. They can save a lot on fuel, and it adds up to tens of millions of dollars in savings, which turns into profits right to their bottom line. Right, and like you said, there's still more leg room on JetBlue, even when you're losing two inches and they're on yeah, the other Yeah, we'd airline. have to do a comparison airline by airline, but right now they, in my opinion, have the most uh, uh, room in coach on a traditional economy ticket, not the extra plus seating, et cetera. 